evening and welcome. Welcome to another exciting edition of the program Liberia First on Gide Hard Talk. We are coming to you from Detroit, Michigan. And we do have a very great show for all of us here tonight. It's Tuesday, June 27th, uh, 2023, live and direct from Detroit. I'm your host and announcer, Wild Michael Gilman, inviting you to invite others and be my guests. Uh, first in the queue here tonight, Royal Prince Dracon, Miles SP Pelu says uh, hello from down under to everyone at GHD CLN. Wilhelmina Okai, the birthday celebrant, Ni nee Allison, all the way there from Virginia. Welcome to you, Miss Allison. Uh, happy, happy birthday to you. This broadcast is dedicated to you, to you and many others on here tonight celebrating their nature days, their milestones, anniversaries, and what have you. Dixon, Dixon, welcome to you. Josephine Nangle, welcome to you there. Tonight we have the Concern Labrador Network Convention Committee, Global Convention Committee, uh, going to be our guest on here tonight, led by Felosho Bright Crawford. Sophie Blammer, Joe News Springbok, welcome to you. If you are joining us here for the very first time, we say welcome on this podcast. We insist uh, to be civil with one another. There shall be no cause words. No insults of any kind. Joyce Loma Girl Wayne. <laughs> I ain't get my hair cut yet. <laughs> Philip P. P. Colo, welcome to you. Good to see you on here. Phil Colo, welcome. Uh, coming up here tonight, our conversation is going to center around the monologue hypocrisy advocacy. The causes of many societal or social lapses in Liberia's body politic. Why do we have different standards for one group of people and double standards for another? Can we develop as a nation with such attitudes? Former Justice Minister, Chief Justice Gloria Musu Scott, and others have been indicted by the Montserrat County jury on three charges. Let's dig deeper tonight. On the charges of a murder, criminal conspiracy, and making false statements to law enforcement. What the law enforcement say in the indictment by the Montserrat Grand Jury. Miles S.P. Pelu, happy, blessed Eid Mubarak to all Muslims, brothers, and sisters around the world, may the Almighty Allah grant us our heart desires. Absolutely. King Shaku, welcome. Silent detective, digging deeper, Mr. Gilman, a.k.a. Pitbull. Moses Dennis, welcome to you. Again, uh, we have the Concerned Labrador Network Global Convention Committee, led by the chairman, Falonjo Bright Crawford, as our guest on here tonight. Tonight's broadcast is dedicated to Miss Nee Allison of Virginia. On her birthday, you have it from your daughter. Uh, she wants to wish you well. Tanny, want to wish you happy, happy birthday, mommy. Deeply how my friend and brother there in Monrovia, a also in Zwedru, 
Hey, Dible, my 12th Street brother, happy birthday to you. Jerome Banto Jai of Philadelphia, Victor Marsh, Tanner H. Sacker, and all of you celebrating your birthdays, anniversaries, and special, special milestones. Uh, we say congratulations to you. This broadcast is dedicated to you as well. Matilda Stevens, Moses Dennis, Sophia Crab, Mimi Jabari, Sophia Blay Kapper, Kowa Kavish, welcome to you. Amy Black, uh, good to see you on here. And for all of you watching on the YouTube channel, we say welcome to you as well. Hopefully, all is well at your end. Joe and Tiwe, welcome.
Come mess with my tutu. Can you walk out with this drum? My sweet little tutu. Don't mess with my tutu. Teresa of PR City, mix your face. Don't mess with my tutu. Don't mess with my tutu. You know you have another woman. I'm going to mess with my tutu. Lee Allison, happy, happy birthday to you there. Musa Wild B. Cooper, Alexander Wild Dawson, welcome. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Felicia Gallo, the thing you fool, we forgot about them. <laughs> Orita Toe, don't mess with my toot, toot. <laughs> Charles Musa, welcome to you. Mars SP Pelu. Stevie P. Sese, Helena M. Brown, Sally Asoni. <laughs> uh, uh. Have another woman. Tila Norton, welcome. Ruth Newe. Arotina Solo. I know you have another woman. I'm going to wet your face. King Shaku. Hey, hey, toot, toot. Don't mess with my toot, toot. <laughs> Mas SP Pelu. Kana Zile, Joanna Zulu. You're gonna have yourself a case. I'm gonna break your face. Toot toot. Don't mess with my toot toot. I know you have yourself a woman. Generates me, make me think of you. Yeah, I'm alive. My, my imagination. We say congratulations to His Excellency Dr. George Mana Weir and First Lady Claire Marie Weir on our 30th anniversary. Happy, happy birthday to the first family. Happy anniversary, rather. How? 30 years and counting. Sarah Dopo. Joanna Zulu says the music is not too clear. And take me to the test. You're my lady. I was mesmerizing, girl, I do you. She's my lady.
What can I do without your love? Love you, baby. I remember when we crossed this Southern generation Make me think of you Lance Eastman Bible Freeman Rachel Lawrence Sarah Doper Gera do you To do I break my eyes, she's my lady. I can't live without your love, my baby. Love And this is a special, special tribute to the Comrade Melitin. Titus Allen Sebo. A special, special tribute to Titus Allen Sebo. Again, this is a special, special tribute uh, to the fallen militant Titus Allen Siebel. Come on, we are. Thank you. 
Yeah, may his soul, may his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Uh, Titus Allen Siebel passed yesterday morning uh, uh, from complications. Uh, you know what we'll say back home, he wasn't sick, nothing, but uh, he left us. He left us with the struggle with uh, the to continue with the revolution, he was a leader and want to pay special, special homage to him here tonight uh, to extend our sympathies to his family, his loved ones, uh, and everybody that come to know him. The CDC as a party, the Coalition for Democratic Change, as a coalition, the president, the people of Liberia, on the passing of our titles, Alan Sibo. Uh, a very great stalwart. Uh, we've been communicating and we just chatted a couple of days ago. So when the news was float, floating around last night while we were on the show, I just couldn't stomach it. I couldn't take it. Uh, I said I couldn't confirm it, but then my daughter here, uh, uh, Nana Quia, Nana texted me during the show and said, Daddy, yes, Titus uh, 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 passed away. And I was shocked. Yeah. She texted me and said, Yeah, Daddy, he passed away. But a uh, memory lives on. He will forever be remembered as a militant, as a revolutionary, and may his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Okay? Folks, so welcome to you. Welcome. Tonight's broadcast is dedicated to a number of people celebrating their birthdays, anniversaries, and special, special milestones. Miss Nee Allison of Virginia, Dibley Howe of Liberia, Jerome Banto Jai, Philadelphia, uh, Vic Victor Marsh, Tainan Sacker, and for all of you celebrating, we say congratulations to you. Uh, this broadcast is dedicated to you, okay? We have our special, special guest on here tonight, uh, the CDC, sorry, the CLN Global Convention uh, Committee, led by Falancho Bright Crawford. She's here with us alongside No Monique Boyu, Joyce Lomaguer Wim. Let's bring them all on here and uh, welcome them. Ladies, uh, good evening to you there. Welcome, welcome to GHT. Yeah, you want to speak up a little louder? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, step up to the microphone. <laughs> Good evening to you. Yeah. I see uh, you are here. Uh, uh, Joyce, let me get How you doing? We want to find. Okay. <laughs> and I miss boy you, Monique. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to you. Uh, Madam Chair, Flo, Miss Bright Crawford, you want to hit the ground? Ronnie, I see in your background, you got good food, good friends. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good food, good friends. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, that's 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 great. So talk to us here. The last time you were here, we spoke about a number of things pertaining to the convention coming up. Yeah, uh, let me hasten to tell you here that uh, we have since your appearances on here, 
and told the people the various fees and activities for the convention, we got our first two. I don't want to add myself. Our first two legal, legal members in the Concerned Librarian Network. People that can boast and say, yes, I've paid my dues. I am a bona fide member of CLN. Uh, that's uh, Miss Harriet Wiese of Philadelphia. Yeah, Miss Harriet Wiese of Philadelphia. She sent in uh, $175. That is to tell you that she's going to be in Minnesota. And also, uh, the second person here, the second person <laughs> is right next to you. Joyce Lomaguer Wim. <laughs> She's not waiting for us to go to Minnesota. She's she sent in her $175 as well. Yeah. So we like to extend much thanks to, to them. Uh, uh, these two ladies, they never disappoint, you know, when it comes to the Concern Librarian Network, our scope, our work, and everything. Whatever we want to do here, they, they are always in the lead. And so it's not it's not strange. Help me congratulate them, Madam Chairman, for the convention. We have to make it happen, absolutely. With confidence, yeah. We're gonna make it happen. So uh again, let's go over 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 the convention, the convention fees, so that people know what we're talking about here. Let's go over the convention fees. Okay. Right. If you are not going, Souvenirs, T-shirts, right. Okay, so folks, correct. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Miss Boyu. Let me just uh, emphasize that uh, the convention fees membership. If you are in Minnesota or going to Minnesota, is $175 uh, per, per member. If you are not going to Minnesota, it's uh, $250 to help facilitate uh, the, the, the convention, okay? Uh, there are flyers. The flyers is all over on social media. Please uh, 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 try to distribute it on your, on your individual pages, your Facebook pages your Twitter handles, your Instagram, 
and let people know that you support the Concern Librarian Network. You are either going or you're not going, but you're going to pay, all right? Because you trust this organization, you followed her activities, and uh, you want to see the organization uh, grow, okay? Uh, a mission to the banquet is $30 uh, for single, couple $50, and VIP $100, okay? The dates, uh, Loma Gare, you want to say the dates for our people? Just in case somebody forget the dates for the convention. Okay, July 28th through the 30th. <laughs> she says she doesn't near. near. <laughs> and Sunday, right. Blue jeans, white tops, blue jeans, the dress code for Friday Friday evening, the welcome, meet and greet, and of course, that's the queen contest. Let's talk about the queen contest. Money, money contest for the queen. <laughs> and how many queens do we have now? We have three queens and uh, we need one more queen to have four queens. Or if we can get six queens, that's fine. Right? If we can get five queens, that's also better. But uh, so far we have three, correct? Uh, do we know the months that we have? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, it's uh, April, May, June. And then uh, January, February, March. So we need we need July, August, September, right? So uh, uh, we need technically July, August, September to have four queens. Yeah, and the moment we get that fourth person to be queen, uh, if you want to be and uh. You are not born in July, August, September, but you want to be. Offer your 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 uh, 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 your services, your participation, your your royal kingdom, <laughs> and then uh, we can we can see uh, how we can perhaps uh, 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 switch the months around so that everybody get right. Everybody get their birth month, eh? We can do that, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, we also want to make a special flyer for our queens. Uh, uh, Thelma, Thelma says uh, we already have three queens, correct? Thank you. We want to make a special flyer for our queens. That's why we don't want to say their names who we have now until we get the fourth queen, and then we're gonna make that flyer and, and have it out for you, all right? Yeah. So, uh, 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 and uh, Thelma said there's a queen for July. So Thelma, call me on the phone. If you too busy to come on set, call me on the phone and talk to us a little bit. Because you, she's responsible for the queen contest, right? Yeah. So uh, Miss Thelma say, uh, just call me on the phone here and uh, uh, talk to us a little bit and then you can you can go back to what you're doing. <laughs> All right? Yeah.
Okay, we got we got we we got her we got her on the phone. Let's talk to her quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh Miss Say Toma. How you doing? Yeah, please don't get him married on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, but what? Welcome, welcome. So talk to us. You don't have to say the queen's names, all right? But yeah, uh, uh, how is all that setup going on? So, uh, uh, three months, three months to each queen. Yeah. Uh -huh. for, for for June yeah the 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 third person the third person information I sent you uh she's for for June yeah yeah okay November December and March, March worry. Send, send that the three months remaining January, February, March worry. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. So we need one more queen so that uh, we can, we can, we can have four, and then we can do the flyer, and uh. This queen gonna be crowned on Saturday night by a very distinguished person. We don't want to say until we do the flyer and then you see who's gonna crown the queen and all of that. Yeah, it's gonna be a coronation ball on Saturday night, uh, a coronation banquet. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a very beautiful night. The thing about this, the beautiful thing about this, <laughs> They have okay. Thank you. Nobody, nobody went running after them. They are volunteering. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> come and carry the come and take the crown from Minnesota. <laughs> what are they carrying it? West Coast, East Coast, Southwest? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Miss Boyu. <laughs> right. <laughs> because you are not going to be crowned as January, February queen. You are going to be crowned as CLN first queen. Make history, right? Yeah, the first queen of the Concerned Librarian Network. Yeah, there's a full package that will, will, will be unveiled to you as well. What it takes to be a queen, her royal highness, Queen Falonjo Bright Crawford, your majesty, <laughs> tell me what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Your royalty. No, Monique Boyu. Yeah. <laughs> Your Highness. Joyce Lomagel Wim. All right. Yeah. So we need we need we need people to to volunteer. We need one more person. If we can get three more, and then we have six queens, that's fine. 
but uh, we we need we need somebody to to come in so that we can do the flyer for the queens this week and have it out. All right. Uh, Miss, say anything else you want to uh, uh, tell us about the 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 queens, the queen contest. Tell me. No, not really. Um, uh, just gonna be talking to share with everyone. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Until uh, later, I salute you. I apologize. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, folks, on on Saturday, we are having. A, a membership meeting, a general membership meeting. And uh, we're gonna be discussing a number of things purposefully as it relates to the convention, okay? Uh, if you want to send in your, your membership fees, if you are going 175, you're not going 250, please do so now. We will begin to put up uh, uh, the list as people make payments, all right? One or two persons ask me if they can make partial payments. Yes, you can. Uh, we will allow that. You can make two installments, uh, at most three installments, but two installments is, is better so that uh, we keep tally of it. Uh, uh, and we're gonna be putting a list up every time. We'll begin with the two names we got. Uh, uh, Ms. Harriet Wiese of Philadelphia and Joyce Lamaguer Wynn. Gonna begin with their two names uh, uh, as due pay members, 25 members of the Concern Librarian Network. <laughs> right, Ms. Bright Crawford? You support that? <laughs> they are ahead of me. <laughs> they are, yeah. Yeah, they are ahead of me. Joyce, Joyce, where you at? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I tell I tell your your LEC gone off. Absolutely. So, ladies, uh, 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 I know you guys. Some of you at work. Some of you just got home from work. You got to get back to your biz, your your family and and other stuff. So, is there anything else you want this uh, group to know about? Okay, go ahead. In the same area, okay. Yeah. Country Inn and Suites, okay. In Coon Rapids, yeah. Right. 
Right. Okay, folks, uh, 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 we may be at a slow pace, but people are fired up. They are gearing up. The first couple of hotels are, are, are rooms available to us are all sold out. Thanks to the committee, the far sightedness of the committee to go out and find another another uh, 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 hotel with similar, same rate and discount for us. We're going to be publishing that information for you uh, hopefully tomorrow, the moment it gets to me. So again, let me congratulate uh, Harriet Wiese, our first bona fide legal member to CLN. Uh, she said she just tuned into the show. So I'd like to uh, make this public announcement about the lady there, Harriet Wiese. She sent in her $175 followed by Joyce Lomaga Wim. Uh, uh, James John Kakula Sumo he said, Can we pay for our hotel to you too? No. Call the hotel. We'll give you the hotel information. <laughs> Call the hotel. Uh, uh, Kakula Sumo. Yeah. Yeah. Kekula Sumo, call me or I will send you the hotel information, okay? And then you can make your reservation. My sister there, Ruth Glewlu, welcome from uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome. All right, so is that... Right. All right, Ms. Crawford. Your parting comments? Okay. Right. All right. So thank you very much. And uh And uh, she's just she's just joining us here. So let's have a word with her quickly here before we go off. Comfort, Mami Te, how you doing? Yeah, we can hear you. You are working. Okay, so we the, the group are about to exit the global stage, but let's hear you quickly here. What do you have for us?
Right. It's going to be epic. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Day. No doubt. And uh, Miss Bright Crawford. Yeah. Thank you to you and your team there. Let me send you guys off with this uh, beautiful song by Oliver Ngoma. Yes, I can't wear. Welcome. Bandy. Monday. Bandy. Achi Tape, Ahaj Biwazi, said, Mr. Gimo, tell my mom that I will be there in Minnesota. Buddy, Kazaliba Zakaba said, we can't hear the music. Well, folks, uh, we are having difficulties with the sound here, so let's just... Uh, 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 I'll go into our conversation here. Again, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all of you. Uh, that was the committee. Our Gatti passed away. The sound is bad. Little Dumba, bad sound is game. Again, Thomas Brown, it's good to be appellations. <laughs> A good English. Thomas Brown, that good England, it's good to be epilicious. <laughs> uh, all right, so folks, uh, welcome, welcome to all of you. Uh, again, thanks to the team led by Falancho Bright Crawford for staying the course and, of course, uh, organizing the first ever global convention for the Concern Librarian Network, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we will be there in our numbers from, <laughs> Telmo say, now I think that Jerry type in the other one yet, that I tell me type the one yet. I bet they want see to be here, <laughs> now, tell, now, now Jerry. Susan Green, welcome to you, how you doing? Long time, how you been? <laughs> Eddie Mayata song, by the way, welcome to you as well. Berian A. Walker, good to see all of you here. Uh, folks, uh, uh, earlier today, our time, uh, Griffiths, Alexander Griffiths, welcome to you, my brother. Joseph and Edith Wally Kenner, good to see you always. Uh, Princess Bay Taylor. <laughs> Sam Rex, I volunteer, Mr. Gimmon. I'm living a lifestyle, so I qualify to become a queen. <laughs> Show us your king first. Show us your king, and then we're going to make you a queen, okay? Positive Alfred, welcome. <laughs> uh... <coughs> <coughs> All right, so 
our country. Every time we come on here, funny girl, Masale, every time we come on here is because of our country. And uh, if you if you look at if you look at the the the, the flyer, the team for the CLN convention coming up, the team for the convention, what our speakers will be speaking about, standing shoulder to shoulder in arms with the government and people of Liberia. How can diaspora Liberians, especially those in the United States of America, change the negative perception of plotting against their own to a more productive engagement with the government and people. How, how can Liberians in the diaspora, in America, change that negative perception of plotting against their own country and people to working with the government, working with the people, how? I don't think anybody uh, do not know Liberia's problems, where they all originated from. Okay? I don't think anybody here don't know. Our problems have always originated from these shores of the United States of America. Liberians that came here before some of us They started that problem in our country. And ever since then, it continues. It's manifesting every day. How can we change that negative perception from rallying monies to buying guns to protesting to paying DC lobbyists to impose sanctions on the country. Okay, the tips are all there. Liberians going to DC asking Congress to impose sanctions on the country. We are Americans. We are taxpayers. We are immigrants. We don't want American taxpayers to continue to support that country. Eh? So when we come here every evening, it is that negative perception, that negative energy that we try to push away, to drive away, and rather bring us together to chart a common cause, to chart a new course of action for our country. We can, we can support the government, but we can hold the government feet to fire. Okay, we can support the government, but we can hold the government feet to fire. They don't say because you are pro-government, so you will see wrongs going on in the government and you don't speak about it, you don't talk about it. This is why when the Concern Librarian Network, uh, 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 let's say when GHT, Freedom FM faced the issue, came together, backed by the Concerned Librarian Network to stage a sit-in protest at the Justice Ministry to demand justice for the late Shalom Musu. Some people, Sarah Dopo, Evelyn L. Dennis, some people question that. Why? You support the government. You will be kicking yourself in the legs. Why do you want to protest against the justice minister. That's the government, that president, we are you going against? No. We say no, we are not going against president. We are, we are not going against the, uh, uh, the government. We are going against that bad practice that have painted our country negatively 
okay, where poor people, when they commit crimes, they are punished. When big people commit crimes, they go with impunity. Okay? You would think that our folks who've always advocated for fair play, for justice, for rights, for all of these things, you would think that they would have joined us shoulder to shoulder. Okay? You would think that they, 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 they would have joined us shoulder to shoulder in arms against this ugly venom and say, I'm putting my one dollar here. This is a good cause. We started it to protest for justice for Shalom Musu. If you, a pro-government group, are doing it, we will join you. Eat and say Welcome, Cyril Dopo. We will go after anything that's wrong, whether it's pro government or not. Our people and country comes first. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, Ms. Dopo. Okay. So they didn't do it, they didn't join us, they questioned us. And then they said we had a sinister motive. We did it in defense of Jefferson Koji, Vali Taleb. That's what they accused us of, that we did it to clear the names of Jefferson Koji and Vali Taleb because they are the doers of the crime. They masterminded and orchestrated the crime. Brother Conan, Aaron Conan, welcome. Rebecca Sayer, Stephen Kier. Okay. But here we are. We've told you over time since this crime, this incident happened the night of February 22nd, 2023. With me team over time that uh based on our intel our triple d department sources that fed us with information no intruder entered our home that it was a domestic violence that went wrong william sagba davis welcome to you stephen kia a domestic violence went wrong Today, the Montserrat Grand Jury released to the public in court the indictment. Eric passed away. Anyway, better late than never. Just don't be selective about it. That's all. Eric, promise me that you are coming to Minnesota. Promise me that you are coming to Minnesota. Eric, pass away. Eh? Frankie. Frankie and Saka, welcome. Promise me you are coming to Minnesota uh, uh, July 28th to the 30th. Josephine Santa Moa Amisa, welcome to you. Okay? So, the... Monserrado Grand Jury released the indictment today. And boy, oh boy, what an indictment. What a detailed indictment by the Monserrado Grand Jury. Or let's say the, 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 the police. If you have not seen the indictment, that document, it's on the Jida Hard Talk page. Okay? It's on the Jida Hard Talk page. You can go there and read it. 
you can go there and read it. It is so detailed. It confirmed most of what we said here to you. Okay? It did. Yeah. It confirmed most of what we said here to you in the past. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we we have the indictment here, and uh, we we gonna we're gonna read it for you. We're gonna read the indictment here tonight, and. From there, we take your calls. How is that? Peter, Lawrence Solante, Abraham Conant, these are some of the reasons I support this government and the CDC leadership. We are always bold to hold our own accountable whenever things go wrong. Absolutely. Entrepreneur, Rosa Pugh. Yeah. Absolutely. There is nothing wrong with, you know, uh, 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 speaking truth to power. That is the real essence of speaking truth to power, when you can speak on both sides, the good and the bad. That is speaking truth to power. But our friends in the opposition only know when you say speaking truth to power, you should insult government officials. Eh? Mira down. Got he pass away. Our friends only know when you say uh uh you speaking through the power, you should insult government officials. Then you will have ten thousand people watching you. But when the government is building the Ganta Sanicole Highway, the Banga Medicoma Highway, when you when you see the RIA Highway is going up, don't talk about it, don't speak about it. That's 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 somebody blueprints. Thompson John Thomas Johnson, welcome. Poor man lawyer, welcome. <coughs> okay, don't speak about it. That's somebody blueprint. But you know what? Uh the Boycott government, the Boycott government started a market building in Bangabon County. They started a market building in Bangabon County. Matter, Slow Jack Weezy, Telvin Thompson, Nina Queer, Amy Black. The Boyka government started a market building in Banga Bon County. Monies were provided for that building by the Japanese government. Joanna Zulu. Monies were provided. But again, the Boyka Salif that are making noises around here today, they ate that money like Grand P. A.B. Conner. They ate that money like Grand P. Today, President Weir said, no, we're not going to allow this frame. The frame is there. They left the building just like that. They just put up the frame, woo, and they ate the rest of the money. President Weir said, my people needs development. The people of Bon County, Banga area, cry on the president. Please finish our market building. The president, like he did with the Omega market, Gobachua market at the Omega Tower, he went back to, to Japan, the Japanese government and people, and said, hey, 
the market building in Bond County, we got to finish it up. Okay? We got to finish it up. Please come to my aid. My people are calling on you through me. The government was able to source, find, get the support of the Japanese government and people to finish the market building. $95,000, United States dollars, has been earmarked. Work commences on that building in the coming days. But guess what? Harriet Wiese, Lady Domba, Sarah Dopo, Daniel, Wulefano, guess what? When that building is finished, Joseph Waka will run around that he blueprint. That he blueprint. Yeah. He will run around the United Party people, Federal Tennessee the men. They will run around and say that they're blueprints. All right? Captain Doe, what sort of people are these? What sort of people are these that never gave credit but always blaming people? What sort of people are these? Are they the definition of there is the white man there is the black man, and there is the librarian man. Eh? Are they the definition of some librarians giving God a hard time? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Clay Richards, Paul Higginson, Clay Richards, are they the, def the definition of? Some Liberia giving God a hard time. Eh? They were there all these years. They did the blueprint for that market building. They got the money. They ate the money and left the people of Bond County, Banga City, destitute. No market. The market building is about to be completed on a president we are. And they will come and say, that's our blueprint. Eh? <laughs> Abraham Conner, yeah, man, they are. I'm telling you, the definition of evil, thank you, Lady Dumba. They are the definition of evil. Oh, yes, they are. Three people from three different walks of life, three different cities, three different states. Abraham Corner, Lady Dunbar, Claire Riches. Listen to, uh, 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 listen to this. Yeah, man, they are. The definition of evil. Oh yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, man. They are the definition of evil. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> it be laughing. You know, I'm telling you. They ate the mission money, uh, Isaac Johnson. They did. A million name left. Okay? So, uh, uh, you know, you can't, I digress because I said, when you're speaking truth to power, you must be able to, to say the good as well as criticize the bad. Yeah. That what took us to the market that is being completed by this government, Honor President Weir, started, it's just a frame. It's just a frame. I will show you the picture. 
I will put a picture up when we begin to take calls. It's just a frame. And you know how when you, that's that's how a uh, uh, Boyka and Ellen met the defense ministry that we have the ministerial complex out today. And you know how you, when you see the concrete blocks and everything look kind of, I don't know, black or gray, looking some kind of way, the cement, the how that building looks right now. But President Weah did not break it down. He's not tearing it apart. He's going to finish it up. Duba Hill. Yeah, he's going to finish it up. And then the way camp is their blueprint. All right? So that took us away from, you know, speaking truth to power. Yeah. We're talking about speaking truth to power and speaking on both sides. Speak the, the good, criticize the bad. But just don't come insulting people whole day and you say, yeah, the man, the man speaks truth to power. No. If anybody speaks truth to power in our dispensation, in our librarian advocacy, it will be Concern Librarian Network on GHT. It will be Freedom FM on Face the Issue and all of that. Who will see wrongs in government and criticize it? Who will see good in government and speak about it? Okay? That's it. So the Monserrato Grand Jury and the court today released the, 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 the indictment of uh, Councillor Gloria Mususka, former Chief Justice, Gertrude Newton, uh, uh, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yude Wisner, all of the city of Monrovia, Republic of Liberia. It's the case, Republic of Liberia plaintiff Versus Gertrude Newton, Councillor Gloria Mususka, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yude Wisner. Crime, murder, criminal conspiracy, and false reports to law enforcement officials. Okay? We told you here, uh, uh, Sarah Dopo. <laughs> Sarah Dopo, you probably uh, uh, know. We told you here that uh, 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 City Kappa, welcome. Prince Queer, welcome. We told you here a few days ago when Gloria Mususkat was arraigned before the court and taken to the South Beach Central Prison. We told you that uh, this judge, Judge Roosevelt Z. Willie, was talked to by Gloria Mususka lawyers, or 31 lawyers, to take the case, to apply for the case, that the case is assigned to him. Because we know Judge Willie's activities. His, his rulings when it comes to anything that has to do with the government and the opposition. He always sided with the opposition. There are cases involved. Okay? When we spoke about it, first, when we spoke about it the first time on Freedom FM, Judge Whaley convened a meeting of his staff and began to question them. Who among you is telling that GD hard talk man about me? Okay? Who among you is telling that GD hard talk man? Everybody denied. John Saki Connor, Melvin Cotter. She's still in jail. Jodah Akbar G. Dada. Agnes Say. 
Uh, uh, Gloria Scott is still in jail. Yeah, Michael Green, thank you. Okay. He convened a meeting and asked his staff. Not only that, he went upstairs and complained to the Supreme Court that people in his office or among his staff are taking information to Jida Hathor. And uh, that information got to us. And that's why we are talking about it, because we got the information. <laughs> <laughs> Mars <Miles>, SP <laughs> Ruth Harris, welcome. <laughs> welcome there. Uh Ruth Harris from Congo Town, opposite Charles Taylor House. White flowers, welcome to you. Okay. So uh uh but this is it. On yesterday. He told, he told his staff, again, he said, I'm going to get the kiss. And I will do whatever I want to do with it. Let me see what it will do. George Roosevelt Willie, you can do whatever you want to do with this case. Okay? Before I go to reading the, the indictment, let me make this clear. George Willie, you can do whatever you want to do with this case. We are following this case. The Labrin people are following this case. Okay? And uh, our sources from the Temple of Justice <coughs> told us, say, Mr. Gilman, George Sowood, Emilia Nimlem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 Emilia let me read your comment because I'm coming to the world for Emilia Nimla said, Miss Nimla said, I love the statement that PYJ made that whoever go against President George, we are with four, and that's the fact, okay? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, George. Judge Willie, you will not do anything with that case. You will not play with this case like you did with other cases you handle. Because we are watching, the Labrin people are following. And this is no threat. But uh, our sources are the Temple of Justice. Say, Mr. Gilmore, just remind him. Just remind him that uh, we know is not very healthy and that you know he suffers from epilepsy you know we're not making fun of it he suffers from epilepsy and he has fallen a number of times at the temple of justice the epilepsy knock him down Say, but tell him. When that happened to him, we took him to the hospital. We took care of him. The people that took care of you, George Willie, when you fall this time around, if you try to do anything with this case and you fall, that shallow musu spirit are knocking you down. Okay, and you may not, it may be your last fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mas, SP, Pelu, George Willie, if you fall by messing with this case, that shallow musu spirit will knock you down. And that fall will not be small fall. Yeah, it may be your last fall. Okay. So don't mess with this case. Do not mess with this case. Yeah, we are on this case. All right. Let's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Don't mess with this case. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do not mess with this case. <laughs> if he couldn't, no one is going to try taba taba with this. Absolutely not. All right, Phil L. Morris, welcome. <laughs> no more fall down and get up. No. So let's go to the reading of the indictment. All right. Yeah. Let's go to the reading of the indictment, and then we'll take your calls. Yeah. Paula Urito Reto, welcome. Republic of Liberia in the first judicial second criminal assizes A, Montserrat County. For Montserrat County sitting in its May term AD 2023. Before his honor, Roosevelt Z. Willie, resident second George, Republic of Liberia plaintiff versus Gloria Mus uh, Gertrude Newton, Councillor Gloria Musu Scott, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yude Wisner, all of the city of Monrovia, Republic of Liberia. Defendants, crime, murder, criminal conspiracy, and false reports to law enforcement officials. Indictment. That the special grand jury of Montserrat County, Republic of Liberia, upon their oath, do deeply hereby find, more probably than not, that the defendants, Councilor Gloria Musu Scott, Gertrude Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yude Westner, committed the crimes of murder, criminal conspiracy, and false reports to law enforcement officials in violation of Title 26, Chapter 14, Section 14.1, Chapter 10, Section 10.4, and Chapter 12, Section 12.33 of the new penal law of the Republic of Liberia as follows to wait. One, can one murder? One, that on the 22nd day of February AD 2023, at the hour at about 10 p.m., the defendants, Councillor Gloria Musu Scott, Gertrude Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yude Wisner, with criminal minds and intent, armed with a sharp instrument, believed to be a knife and pepper spray, willfully, intentionally, purposely, and maliciously inflicted several bodily injuries on the person of Shalom Musu, including her chest, right hand, left hand, left high thigh, and left armpit, which led to her death, thereby committing the crime of murder. Two, that it was on the night of February 22nd, 2023, around the time stated above, after the family had eaten and were all in the house, when the security guards assigned to the home of co-defendant Councillor Gloria Musu Scott heard crying sound coming from inside the house. As the sound got louder, security guards Anthony Musu and Zion Tar approached the room window of co-defendant Scott. And in that process, they saw co-defendant Gertrude Newton slid the bathroom window glass of co-defendant Scott. And upon seeing them, she started screaming for help, saying, in quotation marks, that the people on us in the house, also seen in the bathroom with co-defendant Newton, 
was Shalo Musu, now deceased. Listen to you. Tamasai is on the phone with us. How you doing? After hearing from, yeah, Tamasa, welcome. Okay, all right, stay, stay with us. Yeah, yeah, stay with us. After hearing from co-defendant Getru that someone was on them in the house, security guard Zion Tar left to call security guard Moses Wright, who was their commander and told him that someone was in the house on the occupants based on what co-defendant Getru Newton had told him. When security guards Wright and Tar returned, they left security guard Anthony Musu at the bathroom window of co-defendant Scott. They went at the back of the house to co-defendant Wisner's room. When they got at the window, of course, defender Westner's room, code defender Gertrude Newton came and told him, Zion Tar, to break the window bar if he had anything to allow them to come outside. As instructed, Mr. Tar broke the window bar with a cutlass and aided three of the defendants in persons of Gertrude Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yuda Westner to get outside through the window. Four, after the three co-defendants came outside and being very concerned and apprehensive about the alleged armed robber, the security guard, Zion Ta, decided to remain at the window with his cutlass to see whether the alleged intruder would come outside through that window since there was no other entry or exit at the time. While standing at the window, some members of the community who jumped over the and uh, entered the fence came to the window where the security guard Zion Ta was standing and managed to enter the house <coughs> through the said window. While the security guard remained on the alert at the window for the alleged intruder who never showed up. Five that one of the community members in person of Amara S. Tawule, who entered the house, told police investigators that when he entered the house through one of the back windows, he saw the deceased lying in the bathroom, bleeding. And he helped to put her on the back of his friend by the name of O.G. Prof, who asked Code Defender Scott for the car keys. He further that code defender Scott gave the keys to his friend, OG Prof, who gave it to one Mulba. He stated that at that time, the whole house was locked. So he asked code defender Scott for the back door keys and she gave it to him. That is how he opened the back door and helped Kerry Shalom Musu, now deceased, to the car to be taken to the hospital. And he returned to the house to continue searching for the unknown man who allegedly stabbed the deceased but was never found. Six, that in an attempt to cover up the truth about what transpired in the house, the defendants decided to concoct a, a story that a new man entered the house and stabbed the deceased to death. But to the contrary, it was the defendants who murdered the deceased after they were involved in an altercation, evidenced by the outlook of the room when the investigators appeared on the crime scene. Seven, that the medical autopsy report established that the deceased was violently and stabbed nine times on her chest, right hand, left armpit, and left thigh, and her face was peeled, peeled, indicating that the injuries were inflicted by a sharp object believed to be a knife 
which is consistent with co-defendant Gertrude Newton's statement that she was in possession of a knife and the peeling of the deceased face was associated with the use of a foreign substance believed to be a pepper spray, which is consistent with co-defendant Scott's statement that she did discharge pepper spray and that the injuries sustained by the deceased led to her death. Eight, that the defendants, knowing what they had done was wicked and barbaric, and co-defendant counselor Gloria Mususcat, being an experienced lawyer and criminal justice practitioner, decided to lie by creating a story that will shield them from the gruesome act of murder. That is why defendant Gertrude Newton narrated a story that no, no reasonable mind will ever believe that after the mayor allegedly stabbed the deceased in the back, she took the knife from, the, from him. Listen to this. Gertrude Newton took the knife from, from the mayor, but he took it back from her, indicating that the multiple wounds found on the body of the deceased were inflicted by the alleged man, who no evidence has established ever existed. That court defendant Scott also lied that she pepper sprayed the man in his face after she encountered him in the doorway of her room. Nine, that the defendants with criminal minds and intent to destroy evidence caused court defendants Gertrude Newton and Alice Johnson to return to the house on the night of the incident and upon which time security guard Zion Tar saw them carry away a black bag containing several items, part of which is suspected to be the murder weapon. Criminal agency. That is observed from the facts and circumstances that the defendants changed and concealed the blouse that Charlotte Musu, now deceased, was wearing at the time of the violent attack on her, on her person before taking her to the hospital, and also prohibited the investigators from entering a room in a house which was locked by court defendant Gertrude Newton for several days. Having been compelled by the police investigators to open the room in the presence of court defendant Gertrude Newton's lawyers, blood stains associated with the deceased were found in several parts of the room, along with tomb bra believed to be that of the deceased. Wow. All of these things we are explaining to your yell. All of them we will be explaining anything to you. That dark room. What they found in a room. Eleanor Flomo, we're not here, but we're here now. Ten, that the defendants willfully, purposely, intentionally, recklessly, and maliciously committed the crime murder against the peaceful person of the deceased Shalo Musu. At the time and date mentioned above, in a manner and form which is violent and barbaric, based on the circumstances surrounding the death of the deceased, but tried to fake a story to deceive investigators. 11. That the conduct of the defendants demonstrates extreme indifference to the value of the life of Shalom Musu, now deceased, for the fact that the time that was available for them to take the deceased to the hospital to seek medication after she was allegedly stopped by an unknown man was the time they took to plan and concoct a theory of falsehood that they saw a man in a house who never, who of the defendants in presence of Gertrude Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Wisner to get outside the window.
ओके okay. I gotta, I gotta go to story is it uh let's go to the charges Eleven. Let's go. Twelve. Code defender Rebecca Yude Wisner also in an effort to mislead. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's start from number one. Uh, the conspiracy. Count two. Criminal conspiracy that the special grand jury for Montserrat County, Republic of Liberia, upon their oath, do hereby find more probably than not that the defendants, Councilor Gloria Musu Scott, Getrew Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yude Wisner committed a crime of criminal conspiracy in violation of Chapter 10, Section 10.4 of the new penal law of the Republic of Liberia to wait one that it was on the night of February 22nd, 2023, around the time stated above, after the family had eaten and were all in the house when the security guards assigned to the home of co-defendant Gloria Musu Scott, all crying sound coming from inside the house as the sound got louder. Security guards Anthony Musu and, Z and Zion Ta approached the, the room window of co defendant Scott. I think I read that. Yeah. Let me go to 12. That all and, and singular, the information provided by defendants to the investigation was established to be false, misleading, and erroneous based on the many contradictions. For example, co defendant Gertrude Newton said that she woke up the deceased and co-defendant Alice Johnson, but co-defendant Alice Johnson said that she woke up when she heard the deceased and co-defendant yelling. <laughs> co-defendant Gertrude also said that when the alleged attacker took the knife back from her, co-defendant Alice Johnson woke up and that is how he stabbed her on her side. But co defendant Alice Johnson told investigators that when she woke up to the yelling of co defendant Newton, she felt a knife juking her on her side. That co defendant Gertrude Newton also told the investigation that when she came outside of the house, she saw the alleged attacker and they started stoning each other. <laughs> when co defendant was not told her, to stop stoning him. But when co-defendant only her defendant Newton saying that someone was stoning her. 13. That contrary to the impression by the family that Charlotte Musu's phone got missing on the night of the incident, that deceased phone was taken by co-defendant Alice Johnson and gave it to co-defendant Gertrude Newton and was being used by Telma Wa Colley. <laughs> Telma Wa Colley <laughs> was using the phone. Wow. A cousin of the deceased. That on the very night of the incident, the victim's phone number called Gloria Musu Scott four times. At 23.06 for eight seconds, 23.07 hours for 50 seconds, 22.5 hours for three minutes, 48 seconds, and a diversionary tactic which showed that the phone was still in the possession of the family. This was a diversionary tactic to sway the investigation away 
from the main suspect, also co-defendant Councilor Gloria Musu Scott, said on the night of the incident, she could not she could not find her phone, which the investigation proved to be false based on the analysis of the call logs. As she used the phone that same night after Shallow was taken to the hospital and subsequently pronounced dead. That court defendant, Councillor Gloria Musu Scott, did not escape through the window during the time of the incident, as was widely insinuated. Instead, she used the keys to open the door of the living quarters and came outside through the back door after some community dwellers, to include Eric Odumagu, Amara S. Taule, Morba Kamara, Laha Sanon, and Patrick Johnson have made their way into the house through the window that co defendants Gertrude Newton, Alice Johnson, and Ma Rebecca used to exit the house. That the acts of the defendants are contrary to one CLR Title 26, Chapter 12, Section 12.33 of the New Penal Law of the Republic of Liberia against the peace and dignity of the Republic. 16, that the defendants have no affirmative defense, false reports to law enforcement officials, one, offense. A person has committed an offense if he gives false information to a law enforcement officer with the purpose of falsely implicating another, and B, falsely reports to law enforcement officer or other security official the occurrence of a crime of violence or other incident calling for an emergency response when he knows that the incident did not occur. Sekuta official means firearm or other public servant responsible for averting or dealing with emergencies involving public safety. And the grand juror aforesaid upon their oath aforesaid to present that the herein above named defendants aforesaid did commit the crimes of murder, criminal conspiracy, and false reports to law enforcement officials, contrary to the form, force, and effect of the statutory laws of the Republic of Liberia. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, That's the reading of the indictment by the Monserrado Grand Jury. Open indictment. Sarah Dupo, for 1,200 stars, Shallow will get justice. Yeah, Akwe Gomakoli. All of the time was between 11 to 12 o'clock. Four different times the police cited that shallow musu uh, 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 cell phones were used, was used to call Gloria Musu Scott. Yeah, four times. Four different times a cell phone was used. And that's the time they were plotting. That's the time they were plotting to conspire, they were conspiring to tell the story. Papa Dako, that's the time they were plotting to tell the story. When this child was bleeding in her bathroom, okay? That's the time they were conspiring to tell the story. Yeah, Nelson Gaga, Victor Samba, yeah, yeah, some parts were repeated, so I had to look at where I was. Yeah, Folosho Bright Crawford, Barbaric Act. Absolutely. Rosalind Tanamir. Our telephone lines are open, folks. Let's take your calls. 
let's begin with Delano Tamasa here. Get his uh, analysis. The lifestyle of the pro pool. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, this will be on Thursday issue at 4 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. local time in Liberia on Wednesday. All right? We'll be there to help teacher light inform the Liberian people about this very, very sad, sad story. Uh, uh, Wilhelmina Oka, Mr. Gilman. So they have stories. Let me go back to that. Inside, they have stones inside Councilor Sky House, which they use to stone the murderer. Wow, what a blatant lie. <laughs> yeah, uh, Abraham Connor, he said, I see why the first batch of lawyers stated earlier in, the, in March that this case is getting hard for us now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Delano Tamasa, welcome. Yeah, Mr. yeah, yeah, absolutely. No. Yeah. How uh, they have very different only people think about the government's process mm -hmm. and how uh, the different ways of government operates uh, without no interference and the laws are then applied to the police. Right. It's in that way. Right. No. No. People are going through it. Absolutely. Yeah. 
and the point of part of party politics, the political crisis, the things that they were doing. And today, look at what we have. So far, the Macron's to the justice system, the Macron National Police and those investigators. Right. They still today in the wrong way that they try to get all these bad people in the Macron. Out of the three or four things that they are there to fight the war, they can't escape everything. No. 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 And I just want to tell the government that to be more transparent. Right. But that's the only way people will be dedicated. Because those days they had the big names and the big boys, they still think. Yep. Absolutely. Let the Lord take this Let the Lord take this go. Right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's uh let's take this caller from uh, Iowa and then we'll go to the WhatsApp line and go to Mr. Jerome Gamer. Miss Chapin, you want to you want to look at your microphone because I'm I, I'm not sure you you will we'll hear you. I get the feedback from somebody. Or uh, mute your mute your video in the back. The WhatsApp line. Mute your video in the back. All right. A color from. 515-2874. Hello. Hello. Good. Welcome. Let, let's hear. Yeah, let's hear you quickly. Yeah, one minute. Go ahead. In an orange yeah. jumpsuit. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Let's take uh, Mohammed S. Kamara from Liberia. Mohammed Kamara, welcome. Good morning, Mr. Jonah. Good morning, welcome. Yeah, Arab Emirates. I got to change that LRB I got to your name. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Right. You know what is about that thing about this point? How can somebody say a name and look somebody and you took a name for the question? The question took a name for you and see the question. Yeah. And you now want that the question told you and you say why you want the question and somebody say you want to the question. It's difficult to create that. It's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult to create that. Whenever you are creating that, go and then we know that you can. Yeah. But Well, no. 
Thank you very much, uh, Kamara from UAE. Oh, Tele Bella. Welcome. Yeah. Four times, there are four communications from the deceased phone to her phone. Yeah. We're on, we're on a deceased face. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Thank you very much, uh, Tilly Bella there from uh, Arizona. Let's uh, take Mr. Gayman. Jerome Gayman. Got to unmute yourself, man. Miss Chapin, you want to? Uh, uh, I'm great. How you doing? I got deaf. <laughs> I'm coming to you with a deaf. You're telling deaf from me? <laughs> I give it back to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. But but the, the 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 people that came in, the neighbors, they said she handed them the she opened it, she handed them the key and they opened it. She came walking through the, the door. Yeah. Yeah. No. From Freedom FM.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah, on, on, on video. Yeah, yeah. They had, yeah, they recorded them, their testimonies on video. Yeah. Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To the to, to mess with our country. So counter them, yeah. There's nothing, I mean, they are superior, superior power. Yeah. With Freedom FM, yeah. By deeds, by actions. Right, in Minnesota. Yeah. 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 So there's the 28 already, yeah. No, she will not die. Thank you very much. Let's go to Australia and welcome Mass SP Pelu. Mass, welcome. How you doing? Hello. Hello. We can hear you. Great, great. We're doing great. I just wanted to ask one, one or two questions because um, I don't know if my voice is clear. In a reading, yeah, that's on that one. Um, intentional is healing, or was your thing intentional? Or was it just that they always say it's domestic violence? That, that, what, that, what, that what I, the indictment said, they say it was intentional. Wow, yeah, so said, that's me because they remember they went to the um. They went to the radio station or to the press to say that their their house were attacked two different times before they didn't get died. Yeah. So that means was exactly they are planned to let that you know to take the the belief on their head to right. see someone kill them attack and kill this girl. Yeah. Wow. 
So they, they, they didn't tell exactly what their reason, what the intention uh, that caused them to do that. Uh, uh, I mean, we we all listen to the reading of the of the indictment. Uh, it, they, they didn't say because she did this that why they did this to her. But uh, you can you can gather from there that it was a domestic violence that went wrong. Okay, and they, like the police always say, if you see something, say something. They decided they would not explain what happened in the house. Only Gloria Mususka. Uh, 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 Gertrude Newton, uh, uh, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yuda Wisner know exactly what happened in the house. They can explain what happened in the house that caused Charlotte's death. Okay, they have not. They, they have not. They have not explained that which happened in the house. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I just. But from what he said, well, the pensioner and then they went through this. So the press are someone trying to attack the house and then they try to make her die. So there should be a motive. Now, or something, something that caused them to say, okay, um, since you're doing it, we want to kill her. So that's why I thought um, they have come up with the main reason why they killed her. But then we have not gotten the main reason fine. Or well, maybe at the end of the day, we'll find out exactly what's going on. Right. And then the tail one was. Um, but oh, yeah, 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 here is what count one for the murder charge. Yeah. This is what it says. It says yeah. that on the 22nd day of February, AD 2023, at about 10 p.m., the defendants, the defendants, Counselor Gloria Mususcat, Gertrude Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yuda Wisner, with criminal minds and intent, armed with a sharp instrument, believed to be a knife and pepper spray, willfully, intentionally, purposely, and maliciously inflicted several bodily injuries on the person of Shalom Musu, including her chest, her right hand, left thigh, and left armpit, which led to her death, thereby committing the crime of murder. Finish up your thoughts. Yeah. It is. Right. Uh, we don't know yet. We're gonna find out that. We dig into that. Right. Yeah. Okay. No doubt. No doubt. Thank you. Yep. Bye bye. Let's take Federal Tennessee and then uh, AB Connor. Tennessee, how you doing? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 
yeah, you took the knife from there. No. Thank you very much. And uh, Melvin, Melvin Cordo, Melvin, you said indictment does not tell you the cause of the case, madam. I believe you wanted to say the cause of the death. But uh, I'll go back to the reading of uh, the, 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 the indictment. Uh, can one murder the very last sentence? All of the injuries that she sustained led to her death, thereby committing the crime of murder. LED led to her death. If LED could be C A U S E, cause of death. Uh, Abby, I beg you, let's take Rachel Chapin and then we're going to come to you. Miss Chapin, Miss Chapin. Miss Chapin, you there? All right, Abby. Uh, she's apparently probably busy. Let uh, Brother Conan, welcome. Yeah. Eh? <coughs> right. Absolutely, yep. Four times, four times the her, her cell phone. Yeah, yeah. Between eleven to twelve o'clock. It's no small thing, no. Mm -hmm. It is.
Yeah. I can't get it how. The judicial system, correct. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Conversation. Yeah. My security. He was not, yeah. Yeah. No, the first time, yep. We do. We'll bring them to both. Right. No doubt. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Connor. Hey, Miss Miss Chapin. Miss Chapin. Miss Chapin. Miss Chapin. All right, let's go to Miss Dopo. Sarah Dopo, welcome. Thank you so much. Right. right. It is. That you raise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I'm 
Right. It will never be repeated, no. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Miss Dopo. Ms. Chapin, you there? Have you been able to unmute yourself, Ms. Chapin? If you can't unmute yourself, then you gotta probably go back out and come back in. Let me take this color, Joyce Lomage Wim. Lomage, first partisan. <laughs> Lomage, welcome. Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> Absolutely. Lamaga, say you talking. Let me let me announce that uh, my daughter Nina Queer, Nina Queer just sent her, her her membership payment 175. Oh, she, she <laughs> yeah, she was waiting for you. She won't really be on the list, yeah, <laughs> Nina, thank you very much. Uh, I just seen it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. 
Jack up, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much, Joyce. Let's take, let's take, let's take Miss Townsend, Victoria Musilbury Townsend from Australia. Hi, how you doing? I just see your comment. You said, Mr. Gamer, did you receive mine? And then, uh, uh, you sent me a message. I didn't see the message. With with mass SP, convention? yeah, the convention. You you pay to mass. Yeah. The 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 what? And it will the protest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. No, no. Everybody's just doing it. Yeah. Mas, 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 mas said, no, 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 no. <laughs> right. He is. Washing us from the distance as like giving, God is washing us. Whatsoever you do, God will hold you responsible at the end. Right. Just think that if the game is seeable, but at the end, there's a reward. There's a reward, yeah. Like, she had a future and 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 a Give their life, mm -hmm. give the honest of them, give their good future. Give them hope. Give them hope. Mm -hmm. For at the end of the, uh, of the day, everything went in the breeze, it went out on the dark side. Whatever she stayed in the interior or whatsoever, they have life. Yeah. Good person. Absolutely. Absolutely. In a home, you know, yeah, in a home, right? No. It's very glaring, Miss Townsend. Yep, thank you. Absolutely. Oh, yes, yes. They will keep mine. Yes. Yep. So that that is not to the cause. If the law were not uh, 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 working before, they should work now. They should work now. now. Yep, we are here. And I want to know if it is a counselor and they're talking, they don't understand it for it. Yeah. So they don't know what they're doing. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Ms. Townsend. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let's take a let the children play. Big sister. How you doing? Thank you, Mr. You Yeah. Let me all right. Let me say let me say hi to my friend there from Ethiopia, Garo Hora from Ethiopia. Welcome. How you doing? Good morning to you. Go ahead, big sister. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is she doing? 
Yeah. It did. <laughs> so you get for that. <laughs> You will not call this show for the next one week. <laughs> yeah. You suppose you supposed to be you supposed to be telling all to stop, but you can cause all the you can push all the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tie to the chair. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh big sis, uh, Mariah, Mariah Nelson. Wilton Keta. Keta, what are you doing? Great. Mm -hmm. Motive, yeah. Why was she killed? Why it happened? No, uh, 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 we lifted that story and we are digging into that story. The first, the first, uh, uh, uh person we mentioned here, name came out again as we dig deeper uh, 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 that uh, and we are getting from credible sources that two senators are involved in this. Okay? Yeah. Senator Darius DeLong and Senator Vani Shema uh, 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 got relationship. Vani Shema is Wira Mususka, you know, long time, long time, long time, Frank. And uh, his name continued to come out just when I was on uh, the Freedom FM show earlier today. His name came out, and uh, Darius Dillon's name continued to come out. Okay? Uh, so these these people need to be talked to. Yeah. The, the, everybody in Monroga know that Vani Shema get a relationship with uh with your scar you know yeah yeah some somebody making somebody making that statement right now i know ambassador badio you say who, whoever think a learned counselor would do such a stupid killing if she want to do such will she go that way Make no sense. Yeah. yeah it, to dispose of the body in America, you know? 
uh, 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 that's Ambassador Biden. Uh, you need to watch some investigative movies. All right. I don't know where you are. Whether you're in America, you're in Africa, where part of the world you are. You need to. You need to. You know, this. This. You can put this to a freak accident. In domestic violence, people were, which they don't want to speak about. Okay, uh, uh, nobody is saying that uh, they 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 decided on this day, February twenty second, will kill Shalom Musu. All right, nobody's saying that, but on that day, something happened in the home. Okay, something happened in the home that caused two persons to jump into an altercation. And the altercation led to the death of one. You heard the lady said, Gloria Mususka said, I'm going to play the tape for all of us here. Okay, I think we've got everybody that has spoken. So let's play this tape and that will take couple of minutes from each of, each of our analysts here. You heard Gloria Mususkat uh, uh, say on this tape that uh, she pepper sprayed the intruder. Okay? Nobody asked her. I pepper spray him. I had a contact with him. Eyeball to eyeball and I pepper spray him. The indictment is telling us that the autopsy report Confirm what Gloria Mususka said that pepper spray was used, but the pepper spray was used on Shalom Musu. Okay, the pepper spray was used on Shalom Musu, and nobody else. Did you read the indictment from the defendants themselves talking about I had a knife, and then the the guy took the knife from me, and that the knife he used and stab Shallow in the back. Shallow didn't get stabbed in the back. She got stabbed in the front. All right? And uh, I have the pictures. Don't ask me how I got it. Ever since when we were discussing this, I told you that I got the pictures. Okay? All her stabbing is in the front. So that means to say the person was she was facing the person. Okay. So let's take a look and take a listen here so that we can call it. Still, and, and when I started listening to what was out there, we 
this person is the person who killed Chalobusu. I know that for a fact. She did it, she did it die by herself. I, when I cut out this person, I dish their eyes and I put it in the, 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 the spray in their eyes. Because it was based on, it was a question of life and death. It was a question of life and death. How we Our sleeping quarters, who should not have been there. And this person is the person who killed Chalobus. I know that for a fact. She did it, she did it, died by herself. I, when I cut out this person, I dish their eyes and I put it in the, 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 the spray in their eyes. Because it was, it, was a, it was a question of life and death. It was a question of life and death. How was that? To put the spray in the pepper spray in the person. Have you got physical interaction? Yeah, I'm asking if she didn't speak anymore. Her counsel said she should not speak anymore. How visual was that? You pepper spray this person. Okay? Yeah, or Prince Double, Sarah Dopo, Felosha Bright Crawford. She said they pronounced this girl dead. This girl. Jeanette Mayer. All right, Mandela. Mandela Clon, Yan Hine, how you doing? You say report it to class after seven months. <laughs> Welcome, my baby. Yeah, hopefully you come you come into Minnesota, okay? <laughs> yeah, Barrier Walker. All right, let's go back to our our, our team of analysts here and panelists to take their their their, their takeaways. Couple of minutes each. Let's begin with Mr. Jerome Game on set with us here. Mr. Game, welcome. Progressive Alliance of Liberia. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The championship, yeah. A system is being crumbled. Yeah. What did, was, was it Jimmy Carter or Bill Clinton? You say if somebody do something like, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Gekler, somebody put it there.
no doubt. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Gayman, Jerome Gayman there. Let me say hi to my friend and brother listening on the radio, Melvin Ayanaski from Sicklerville, New Jersey. Melvin, how you doing, my man? <laughs> Welcome. Let's go to Delano Tamasa uh, uh, for his party comments. Yeah, oh, Tamasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall takeaway. Not this school, yeah. No doubt. Thank you very much. Let me squeeze in uh, Bewazi and then uh, AB Connect going to seal the deal for us here tonight. Bewazi, welcome. Are you playing TK you looking for? That's a global that's a global convention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Bewazi, my dear friend and brother. <laughs> John Wompia will own Freedom FM this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> uh, uh, Jerome gave me asking for John Wompia. <laughs> Amy. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they bring more open John one pay uh uh what the other one my man from Sano book on Jerome believe Jerome believer we said junior yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> welcome brother Connor let's hear you take it away I see. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Brother Connor, and our team of analysts and panelists here. Let's leave you with these uh uh uh, uh the, the hypocrisy in our advocacy. We've been discussing this topic for the second week now. If you don't believe what we told you from the get-go, when uh, Justina Taylor was lying on Jefferson Koji and uh Jerome Verdier, the Costa. 
the URA, the opposition will rally behind Justina Taylor to bring her to America, to go to Congress and spew hate and lies there. Listen to Justina Taylor, gonna take us home tonight.
<laughs> that was Justina Taylor talking about Henry Costa, how he forced her to lie on Jeff Koji. Okay? This is where it all started. The lies about Jefferson Tamakoji started with Justina Taylor. And who all orchestrated the lies? Folks, thank you very much for being there and uh, being part of the conversation here tonight. Uh, again, the Concern Librarian Network uh, convention comes up July 28th through the 30th. I will be there on the 27th, and I'm leaving on the 1st. Okay? Be there. Let's make it a moment in time for diaspora Liberians, especially diaspora Liberians in the United States of America. Let's go there and change the course of action. Until then, do have yourself a wonderful, wonderful uh, a good night. Join us on the FM dial uh, uh, where the entertainment never ends, okay? If you're on the clock tonight, like Amy Black, <laughs> always working and listening to Jide Hato. Join us there. Take care. I've been your host and announcer, Wild Michael Gilman. Do have yourself a wonderful night. Bye-bye now.